Hi guys, welcome to our channel. Once again, if you're new here, my name is Chelland and this is Fandom NY. Before I start um, this video, I would like to say thank you all for the subscribers out there that are always here for the support and always watching our video. And if you're new here, I hope you learned something from this um, channel and please subscribe. Alright guys, so these are the materials we need for this video, for this vlog. And we have chrome balloons, we have 260Q chrome balloons there's gold and blue and we also need our 24 inches latex balloon our balloon glue dots our low temperature glue gun and we need to have some of this um, yardstick got it from Dollar Tree and also the ribbons right here this one right here is a ribbon made from my sister um, she has her own channel, Ethylene Mac. Also, we need our hand pump and also our um, electric air pump as well. So without further ado, I will be showing you guys how to make this beautiful hot air balloon. So this time, it's going to be a different hot air balloon from the previous hot air balloon that I made. Okay guys, we're going to use a cardboard, regular cardboard right here. We will cut this to 10 inches right there we use our balloon sizer Alright guys, so now we're ready to attach this to our plank foam. So we're almost done here. So now we're close to the end right here. We have an excess right extra. So we will just cut the extra. So I put a line. Then I'll continue on right there. Alright, so we're ready to connect this here. So this is from the bottom. So we'll connect this here. So I'm gonna use... Alright, so it's now finally dry. So we got right here. So I'm just gonna cut the, the bottom part right here using your knife. Or... There goes your basket. All right, so for this one right here, I was using our balloon sizer. I sized it up to 10 inches. That was for the video, but for today's blog or video, we are gonna be using a different one. It's a much bigger than this. So this is about 14 inches with our balloon sizer right there. So it'll even fit right there. Okay. Alright guys, so let's start this. So we'll start off with our yardstick right here. So it's supposed to be like this, but I cut one of the yardstick and got yeah, one of the yardstick um, like this long and put the extender right here. Because I want it a little longer and then attach this here. Just like that. So what we're gonna do, we will attach all four stick right here and I will put glue gun on the inside right here so attach it with your glue gun okay glue it all all four stand all 
All right, guys, so it's glued on right on there. So all four of them is there. So remember, remember the extender that I used. So that's the only thing that I glued in there. So you can take the top off for now. And we'll return this back later. So all you can see there is the, the bottom one, okay? So we'll put this on the side and we are now ready to pump our 260Q. This is the gold one. So remember you stretch. We might need four of this. So all you need to do is wrap it around your basket. And twist. And then just cap the tip. So it's going to be look like it, looking like that for now. Okay. So now we'll put this on the side. We will also need our blue 260Q. So this time, guys, I will be making a, I will be making beads. So again, if you want to know how I made this in a detailed step-by-step um, -step on how I made this beads, again, we'll put it on the video up here. Just follow that video if you want to know. All right, guys, so now we have a lot of this made. Okay, so this time we will put this here. So I'll start off at the back right here. So now be, make sure you never let go the end of your beads. Hold on to it. So this time we will be using our balloon glue dots. You attach it to your beads right here. And we'll put it right here. We'll start at the bottom. I put balloon glue dust on our first beads right here and the second beads for bubble. So I attach it right there and you just have to put it in between your gold right here. Since it's not that long, it's not long enough, I will connect this to the next beam. So I'm gonna attach this here. in between continue your beads until you get to the opposite side to get to where you're, you started so since I have a lot extra here so I'm just gonna let go with this let go with that and then we'll cut
There you go guys, and then we'll use our balloon blue dots on the last one here. Just so it'll stay in place. There you go guys. So now you do that on the next layer right here. So we're ready to do our third layer right here. Alright guys, so it's time to inflate our 24 inches latex balloon. So this time, we're gonna mount this on the end right here. So again, we have another tutorial, step-by-step uh, -step balloon tutorial on how to make this flower balloon. So, I'll attach this here. So this time we'll put this on the side and we will use our stick right here. So remember the, the other end that I cut and mounted up there. So we have the extension right there. We have the extender, put it right here and then attach. So you need all four. This time, we'll put this on here. It's gonna be like that. All right guys, so this time we will attach our ribbons right here. If you wanna know how to make this ribbon, we have a tutorial from my sister all the way from Philadelphia. Her name is Ethelene Mac on YouTube and we'll put the, her video right there and please follow her and subscribe and it's easy to make you will incorporate this in our balloon um hot air balloon glue gun so i'll put it here so this is very easy to make and as i said she has her own youtube Please follow her on YouTube. So there you go guys, she sent this all the way from Philadelphia. She sent it by mail and we're so happy and thank you for my to my sister Ethelene Mac. Alright guys, so I attach my balloon here and behind this stick, I put like balloon glue dots so it stays in place, it's not going anywhere. So if you lift this up, see, it's attached. So again, we'll use our balloon beads to 60 Q. I put balloon glue dots right on there. We're gonna do halfway right here and then twist your balloon. So we're just gonna use both balloons. 
we'll do it that way. It's on the other end as well, so both ends of your both ends of your beads right on the balloon. So just like I said, you twist it like that. So I like the look on that one. Instead of like a single layer, now it's like it curl like that. And then we'll put the we put blue dots right on there. So you will do the same thing on the other side and all the way around. So the same thing, I twist like that. Balloon glue dots. Alright guys, so now we're on the last part right here. Okay, so this is finally done right here. So now we'll put our stuff inside. So supposedly you can put your cake stand, supposedly, but we don't have a cake stand because you know this is a DIY. So I just use this. So we'll put this in, in here. So as I said, you can use your regular cake stand. So this is just to show you how. So right there. We will use our real cake. This is not just like your regular hot air balloon, but this is also your cake stand. Alright guys, so we're ready to attach our happy birthday here. We got this from our machine, Cameo 4. Alright guys, this is it. Isn't it beautiful? This is our balloon, hotter balloon slash cake holder. I hope you guys like this. Let's see, at the back and like that. And once again, the bow ribbon or the ribbon is, ribbons are from our sister Ethelene Mac, all the way from Philadelphia. Thank you very much. We put it there, and if, if you guys want to know how we made that, please follow her and subscribe. And thank you all for watching. Once again, this is Fem NY. Hope you learned something from this channel, and we will see you guys in our next video. Thank you. Bye.